you guys. I just got done making a bunch of bacon and I'm also drinking some kombucha. This is the one from Costco Kirkland and I like it. I know kombucha isn't for everybody and I used to not like it whatsoever so I guess your taste buds really do change. But so far I've been enjoying this one from Costco because it's like a lemonade, ginger lemonade, which I like. And I saw on TikTok, of course, that if you drink kombucha first thing in the morning, it can help restore your gut health. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be drinking this kombucha. Not quite sure yet what I'm going to have for breakfast, but I am tracking calories. I'm going to be trying to reach my water goal. And essentially because I have eight weeks until my golden birthday, which is August 29th, I turn 29, I'm going to go on an eight week cut. And I'm going to just try to do everything in my power to lose weight and to just get in the best shape that I can healthily. You know, not anything crazy, but just do the best that I can and just try to give it my all for eight weeks. So here we go. Let's clean up my room together. This space gets messy very frequently. It's filled of like my son's little toys and his little flashcards. Like it, there's just literally stuff everywhere. And I really want to make this my space where I can exercise because I'm really missing weightlifting and just lifting heavy stuff. So I decided that I'm gonna just start lifting weights again and just start working out. I do feel like it's easier said than done because getting into a routine of working out is really hard when you're overweight and your body's just really sluggish and you're not used to getting that blood moving even though that's what you need. And I'm speaking to myself here because I know that that's what I need. I know I need to get my blood flowing and just to be healthier overall because I'm not trying to die young, you know. Logically, I know that it's really important for me to exercise, but when I get into doing it, it just feels like such a chore and it feels like I'm miserable and I hate it and it's the worst thing ever. And even though it's not, you know, at the end of the workout, I always feel good. I feel stronger. I feel lighter. I feel like I can conquer the world. To get it done, to like get going, take those first steps and get that momentum moving, it's a struggle. But if I want my body to look good, if I want to feel strong, and if I want to look how I looked the last time when I lost a lot of weight, even though I probably won't because I am a lot older. Not a lot older, okay? Just like five years older. But still. <laughs> When I was doing my 21 days of walking, I ended up doing it for 14 days every single day. I did not miss a day. And then that last week, the Sunday was Father's Day. And after that, it was just, I didn't stick to it. I didn't stick to it. I let the holiday, and this happens to me a lot. Every time there's a holiday, it just gets me off track. And I struggle getting back into things. And that's something that I'm aware of now. And because I've been noticing it every single freaking time that I'm like doing really good. Then a birthday, a holiday. Hey guys, so here is what I have now. I have my treadmill. Excuse these chips. What are you doing here? I was looking for you yesterday. Anyway, this is my little workout section that I'm working with. I have my walking pad right here. And then I have my kettlebells right there. I have more stuff to bring, but I really like having my walking pad here because I can watch myself walk. And then whenever I'm done, grab some dumbbells and then... Excuse this mess, I'm still cleaning, but under here is my bench. So this is the bench that I'm going to use to do like shoulder presses and stuff. Let me show you guys. It does come up. Oh, baby shark. Cool. But you can put it up like that. So you can do, you know, little shoulder presses. Maybe even, I might be too heavy to do like a butterfly fly, you know, like on the back, but... This is still really awesome, really cool. And then the main thing that I really want it for is to do like, let me show you. Basically, I want to be able to do like hip thrust things. So. <laughs> so here's my little workout section. I need to mop the floors. They're very dirty right now. I also need to clean this because my son likes to step on here and he like spills his milk and stuff so definitely need to clean the walking pad too but 
this is essentially where I want to be doing my little workouts. And then I have more dumbbells and stuff, so I have to bring those as well. But the little workout station is going to make it easier for me to actually work out and to prioritize it. Because I just feel like I always have the excuse of like, well, I don't really have a space to do it because we don't have that much space. And we're not really doing gym memberships right now. The gym membership of my dreams is Lifetime Fitness. So clean and so luxurious, but it's just not in our budget. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to make do because at the same time last year when I got a membership, I didn't ever even go. And I don't want to do that again. So I'm like, let me get as fit as I can at home and then we'll see. I am starting to get a little hungry, so I'm going to go to the kitchen and see what I can make. Guys, this is what I'm going to have for breakfast. Oiko's yogurt. I hope it's not expired. Oh, thank goodness, July 20th. I'm gonna do Oiko's, Oiko's yogurt with blueberries. Put it in this bowl and call it a day. Trying to keep it healthy, fresh, low carb, delicious, high protein. So we can be so healthy, so fit, so snatched. Just ignore it, just, just ignore it. Pretend like those are not there, okay? So yes, this is what we're having. All right, before I eat my breakfast, I'm gonna have my vitamins. I've been so bad about doing my supplementation and I purchased this and this stuff is expensive, okay? It's not cheap, so I definitely need to get on it. I started having some just hair loss. I don't know if it's age, if it's postpartum. This is some pretty thick stuff, I'm not gonna lie. Oh gosh, let me fix my arm. My arms are one of my biggest insecurities. I cannot wait to have surgery on them one day. That's something. Okay, let me just put that upside down for now and I'm going to do my collagen. The stuff literally tastes like medicine. It is not very tasty. My mother-in-law, she got the same exact one and she doesn't mind the taste at all. But for some reason, the taste to me is just not good. Not good, not good, but here we are. Love it! Oh. Literally tastes like medicine. Don't love it, but supposedly it's the best collagen you could take. I don't know. Don't fact check me, or maybe like definitely do your own research, but the guy at the store, <laughs> he really tried hard to sell us on this, and obviously we fell for it. We got it at, I was gonna say Kroger. We got it from Costco, the guy told us it was the best collagen that you could possibly get out there, so that's what we got. I'll keep you guys updated on if this product works and if I start seeing my hair filling in, which I feel like it is a little bit, but I don't know yet. I don't know. I need to take it for a good little while, probably till I finish the bottle, and then we'll compare. So let me just kind of show you guys. I do feel like it's grown in some. It was a lot worse. I'm going to see if we can find a picture or a video, but let's eat. This is 276 calories. I a snack, and I almost ate hot Cheetos with cream cheese. It's like one of my favorite snacks, but also not healthy whatsoever. And this isn't super healthy either, but... It's way less carbs. Guys, it's dinner time and I am making some ground beef. So in it, I'm gonna be putting some Rotel, one can of corn and two cans of green beans. And for my family, I'm gonna do white rice on the side, but me, I'm just gonna eat it like that. I'm gonna try to eat less carbs. One of my problems and biggest opportunities is eating less carbs because I just love carbs. I love anything carby is my jam. And so it's definitely a mental shift for me to break out of that cycle and just not be so obsessed with it and so addicted to it. So baby steps, oh man. When I start thinking about how long I've been trying to lose weight for and how I haven't been super successful at it, it does get me kind of down discouraged but on the bright side i'm happy that at least in the last year i have lost weight and not gained weight or even maintained so the fact that the number is getting less and less per year is a good thing so i am happy about that also i know that i haven't been putting in a hundred percent effort it definitely comes in waves there's times where i give a lot more effort and then there's times where i just completely just don't even think about losing weight at all and just kind of want to live in the moment, indulge, and not have any sort of accountability. 
one thing that I really am trying to teach myself is that it's okay to eat healthy. It's okay to not eat carbs and fried stuff every meal. And I feel like I've definitely gotten better. That's been the biggest lessons that I've learned within the last year of my weight loss journey is that I don't have to eat fried food all the time. I don't have to eat out all the time. Cooking at home is honestly sometimes even better than eating out. Sometimes you eat out, you spend money, and it's not even that good. So this is a meal that's just really quick and easy for me. It's delicious. The whole family loves it. My son is obsessed with this white sticky rice from Costco. So I'm just going to finish cooking up this dinner. And then probably after dinner, do my little walkie walk and do my little exercise. Okay, hey so here's dinner. I ended up skipping on the Rotel and I got no rice. So essentially my carbs are, I guess, the corn, kind of the green beans, but mostly the corn, ground beef and pretty simple and i'm hoping and praying it keeps me full the rest of the night it looks really good and it smells really good so cheers all right you guys starting my workout off with a little walk i really did not feel like exercising i even was like contemplating not filming anymore and just like giving up on the vlog but i was like you know what it's okay. <laughs> I feel like it's so human to find it difficult to do things against your normal routine, your normal nature. So here I am breaking those routines and trying to implement a new one because I know that I'll feel so good if I can exercise every day and lift weights and tone up and get stronger. So here's to making better changes and not giving up. Today's workout was very simple. I ended up going for a kettlebell squat to a front raise. I find that this exercise is really, really awesome for beginners like myself, and I honestly wasn't sure what to do. And so this is kind of like an easy go-to move for me. I feel like it's really good because it's full body and it gets the full body moving, pumping, gets the blood flowing. So I really enjoy this workout. I feel like it's challenging enough, but still also easy enough to where I can do it and not feel discouraged. All right, you guys, now we're on our way to Dutch Bros. Ended up getting a water and I'm gonna put this little Mio Energy in it. You didn't get a coffee? No. I you are getting something wrong with it. I did get something. Yeah, right. Oh, it smells good. All right, you guys, it's the end of the day. I feel like if I had a rate today, I would give it a 6 because I feel like I did good as far as I got back into my tracking of calories, I got back into drinking water and exercising, which was a really big one for me because I really want to get back into a routine of exercising and so that's kind of going to be my main focus but overall I just want to lose weight. I'm so tired of being fat. I'm so tired of not feeling confident, not liking to take pictures, not liking the way I look in clothes. Like there's just so many things about so much weight gain that bothers me and of course it's so easy and comfortable to just keep things the same keep the habits the same like just live my regular life but i don't want to stay like this i don't want to be like this for the rest of my life and that is why i'm so motivated and stubborn <laughs> and don't want to give up because i'm not ready to give up on myself and I still have dreams and goals and I just, I don't want to just get lost and not accomplish the desires of my heart. So here I am, not giving up. It is kind of embarrassing though because I feel like if you guys have been following my videos, it's like I, I start and I stop and I start and I stop. Um, but it's also really important for me to share the journey, the good, the bad, the ugly, the ups, the downs, all of it. It is what it is. I'm here and... It's day one of trying again. <laughs> I don't know how many day ones I've had already, but I will say that my day one right now, compared to my day one when I started trying to lose weight last year, completely different. I am a different person already, so if I can just keep on trying and keep on doing the best that I can and really challenging myself, not just giving myself like BS excuses, but really, really trying to lose weight and make healthier choices and make it a part of my lifestyle, then 
I'm gonna get there. I just have to have faith, believe, and I also want to change my mindset about weight loss. I have this mindset that losing weight is hard, and I want to train my brain to believe and to know that losing weight is easy. So that is kind of my goal too, but I'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace out.